Hi there, and welcome to Grammy Goose's Farm, where life is an ongoing work of art. And there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Let's see what's happening on the farm today. Hello, geeses. Hi, babies. Hello, duckies. Oh, my goodness. You're finding your voices today, aren't you? Here's something new. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. How are you today? Hi. You don't say. You don't say. You do say, oh my goodness, look at your pretty blue eyes. Yes, pretty boy. Here come the ducks. You guys going to go swimming today? That's nice, Frank. Beautiful wings you got there. <laughs> well, we got them a new pool, but they don't seem to be using it. I don't know if it's because they can't get in it. Maybe it's too tall for them. Well, hello, Miss Dinah. Are you coming out? Are you coming to say hello? Hello, Miss Dinah. How are you today? How are you today, Miss Dinah? Good to see you. Yes. Well, yes. I know. Anyway... So the side effect of them not being able to get into the pool is the frogs laid another batch of eggs. And we now have more tadpoles. So they are untouched in there because the ducks don't get in there and eat them. So I was thinking about reconfiguring the pool situation, but maybe if I leave it alone, these tadpoles might get to grow into frogs and then I can give you weekly updates on how they're doing and how they're transforming. And that I think will be fun to watch. Miss Dinah. Yes, ma'am. You're not allowed on there, you know. Did you know that? Yeah, because your claws. Mm -hmm, I know. I know. It's nice and soft. You can get drinks. Yes. But your claws are too sharp. See, you might pop a hole in there. You, no, I, I think you might. I think you might. You better get down. Come on. Get down. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, well, we'll see how long it lasts. I may have to replace it with a hard pull. Miss Dinah. Get down, Dinah. Get down, Dinah. Come on. At least she doesn't bother the, the birds. Okay. So, last time we spoke, we still had the divider between the ducks and the geese. But that is not, not, not any longer necessary. So, that's been taken down. They're an integrated flock now. Um, as a matter of fact, they sleep together in a big pile. I hear ya. What's so funny? I hear you laughing over here. You got a joke to tell me? You want to come tell me a joke? How's it going, Frank? You got something to tell me? You don't say. Well, hey, baby. You tell me all about it. Yeah, I know. I know. You're so pretty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you are. <laughs> There's my beautiful Frankie boy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, we still haven't been able to let them out on the lawn because we're still having problems with our dog, Ringo. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But as an unfortunate side effect, do you see what Frank has been doing to my nice mesh tent here? Let me show you. He has just been, well, hello, Dinah. Yes, you gonna tell him about it? 
You gonna tell him how Frank has been tearing up my tent? Yeah, I know. I know. And you can see all the little pieces everywhere. Poobah had to chase him down the other day because he had a piece in his mouth and he wouldn't spit it out. Isn't that right, Frank? And he keeps trying to eat the little bits of tent. Well, come on now. You're not allowed to eat that stuff. It's not good for you. You know it's not good for you. That can make you very sick if you eat those things. Yes, sir, it could. Yes, sir. Yes. You better be good. See, he doesn't understand why I'm not letting him out on the grass to graze. He's just very angry that he's cooped up and he's not allowed to go eat the grass. He doesn't understand that the reason I'm not letting him out there is because if I do, that dog will eat you, Frank. The dog will eat you if I let you out there. I know, I'm working on it, buddy. I know, I'm working on it, buddy. Hey, why are you hissing at me? Well, all right, I'll leave you alone. Dinah, oh, it's you. Yeah, you kind of freaked the geese out. I know, I'm going out this way. Dinah won't hurt you. No, honestly, I know she's a cat, but she's not going to hurt you. Dinah actually likes to sleep in the goose and duck enclosure. <laughs> she's a really nice kitty. I put the big hard pool out here. We had the small one out here for them to, you know, play in until they were no longer able to come out here anymore. Um, but the big one's going to be nicer for them if and when we can ever let them back out. So remember how I told you that uh, Ringo had slipped every collar and chain and wire and rope and everything that we had tried to use to tie him up to keep him from bothering the birds and how Poobah had to ta tackle him um, when he escaped the last time and went running out onto the lawn. Well, Poobah built this enclosure like I showed you. And then um, it worked pretty good for a while. You know, we put the food and water in there and then we called the dogs in and they went in and then we shut this. Um, after the first few days though, oh, and we figured out that we didn't actually need to, oh, hello Maxine. How are you? Hi, baby. We haven't seen you on film before, huh? You don't come around that often. How are you, sweet pea? You're such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Oh my goodness, you really want those pets, don't you? Don't you? Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, you're such a sweet kitty. But we figured out that we only really needed to lock them up for about four hours. That was sufficient for our geese to graze and and be pretty satisfied. So I thought it was gonna work. But after a few days, Ringo wasn't having it and he bent the fence over and climbed out. So Poobah put, you know, reinforcements, these little posts here to reinforce the fence. And the next thing he did was bend up the fence here at the opening and dig a hole out. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. Good to see you too. I know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. So, in short, um, because we could not keep the dogs in. Oh, and also, uh, after that, we tried to call the dogs to put them in, and then Ringo would hide, and then you would track him down and he would run from you. So, there was no way to secure him so that the geese could be safe. So that's the gist of that, is that there's just no way for us at this point to make it safe for the geese to come out on the lawn. So I have done some other things to try to supplement their diet. I am throwing out grass seed with some scratch for them. There's sunflower seeds and various t different types of seeds in it, plus grass seed. And so, you know, the ducks especially like the seed. The geese eat some of it. What they don't eat, I, you know, I throw down water on top and it sprouts and they eat the shoots. So that's giving them a little bit of supplementation. And then they can eat the other, you know, things that grow into the enclosure. Frank's still not happy about it, obviously. 
but it is enough to help them survive until we can find a different solution. And we're working on it. We're working on a different solution and uh, I'll keep you updated, but that's where we are so far. So, from everyone at Grammy Goose's farm, have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful 4th of July. Huh, oh, Maxine? Say, have a good 4th of July. And we'll see you next time.